I'm going to show you on my new whiteboard how we do drawing. I have the data copied here off to the side. Let me first start by making a tally. I want my buckets to be, I'm going to draw it in the form of a chart. Zero to five. These are the numbers between one million and fifty million. So zero to five is going to be my first bucket. Five to ten is going to be second. Next I'm going to do ten to fifteen. Fifteen to twenty. Twenty. 225, 25 to 30, 30 to 35, and 35 to 40. With each of these numbers, I'm going to check off which bucket it falls in. Alabama, 4.78. That's between 0 and 5. Let's give that a 1. 0 0.71 comes between 0 and 5. Let's make that 2. Arizona, 6.39. 6 is between 5 and 10. That's a 1. A Arkansas, 2.92 is between 0 and 5. 3. California, 37.25. California is big. California is all the way up here between 35 and 40. 1. Colorado, 5.03. That's Bigger than 5, smaller than 10. That goes here. Connecticut, 3.57. 3.57 is between 0 and 5. That goes here. Delaware is tiny, 0 0.90. Delaware, I'm going to box this off here to make it a 5. District of Columbia, that's Washington, D.C. D.C. stands for District of Columbia, 0 0.6. So Washington, D.C. is going to be number 6 here. Florida is 18.80. 18 comes between 15 and 20. Let me do 18 here. Georgia, 9.69, between 5 and 10. Hawaii, 1.36, another one between 0 and 5. Idaho, 1.57, another one here. Illinois, where Chicago is. So it's another state that has some big cities. 12.83. 12, 12 is between 10 and 15. Indiana, 6.48. 6 goes between 5 and 10. That's 4. Iowa, 3.05. 3 goes here. So far we have 9 between 0 and 5. Kansas, another small one, 2.85. So we have an even 10 right now. Kentucky. 4.34, that's going to give us 11. Louisiana, 4.53, that's 12. Maine, 1.33, 13. Maryland, 5.77. Maryland evens us out and makes a 5. Massachusetts, 6.55. Michigan, 9.88, that rounds it off here. Minnesota, a little more than 5, 5.3. Let's get that over here. Mississippi, 2.97, another one in this category. And finally, Missouri. Missouri, 5.99 goes here. So, this is how much we have in our buckets. Now, let me draw our x-axis. I don't care about the state names for the x-axis. I only care about the numbers. I'm going to start with 0 and go to 5. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 40. Let me change the colors. This way it looks a little more interesting. Let me use blue now. Between 0 and 5, I have 5, 10, 14. So for my y-axis, let me go between. 5, 10, a little, little smaller here, 
5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Between 0 and 5, I have 14. No, that's too much. The biggest number I have is 14. So, in fact, let me make it easier. 5, 10, 15, 20. 14. 0 and 5 goes up to 14. Let me use the blue now. 14 is going to be a little bit less than 15. So, 15 is here. I'm going to make 14 here. Mm -hmm. And let me put 14 above it so we can see. 5 to 10 is 9. 9 is a little less than 10. Between 10 and 15, I have 1. Between 15 and 20, I have 1. 20 and 25, nothing. I'm going to skip it. 25 and 30, nothing. Skip it. 30 and 35, nothing. Skip it. 35 and 40, 1. Skip it. Now, take a screenshot it, and I will show you guys. Once I screenshot it, I'm going to email it to myself and send that email to me. Emailed it to myself. Called image 0.jpg. I am going to organize and drive. Add it to my Google Drive. So if I add it to my Google Drive, I can pick where I want to move it to. Let me move it to where it says Classroom. I'm going to click Move here. Let me pick a different one. How about Lesson Plans? I'm going to move it here. Files called image0.jpg. So let me go back here. Where it says add file, I can go to my drive and search for image0.jpg. Or I remember it was in lesson plans. Either way, let me click here. And if I want to get rid of it, Get rid of it here. Now I can use the file to answer the question.